Tonight, we're learning new details about a deadly double shooting that happened near two local schools. Police now say the reason behind the killings, a dispute over a parking spot. 11 News reporter Karen Campbell joins us live from City Police Headquarters with the disturbing details. Karen. Well, 34-year-old Dennis Paget told detectives he had been repeatedly threatened by one of his two victims. That victim, Robert Thomas, he says, provoked Friday's shooting. Residents in this quiet northeast Baltimore neighborhood are trying to get back to normalcy after two men were killed and the community was placed on lockdown. Police say 34-year-old Dennis Paget shot and killed 40-year-old Robert Thomas and 47-year-old Troy Preston in the 5900 block of Glenkirk Road on Friday afternoon, all over a parking spot. It is stupid. Somebody, somebody just got dumb. Neighbors like Ron King say the situation could have been avoided. They know that something dumb and over a parking spot. I mean, it don't make sense. Police say Paget had been arguing with the victims for some time over a parking spot. On Friday, things escalated. Investigators say Paget began arguing with the victims with his two small children nearby. He then took his kids inside of a home and came back armed with a handgun and an AR-15 rifle and began shooting. Police and tactical units swarmed the area and blocked streets. Obviously, this is a very disturbing incident that occurred, and I'm just glad that fortunately we were able to catch the person. Investigators say Paget turned himself into officers on the scene shortly after the shooting. Some neighbors say there needs to be a resolution over parking spaces in the area. That's about par for the course. People put chairs out around here when it snows, cones, they claim parking spaces. It, it really burns me up. For neighbors like King, he's just hoping to go back to the way things were. Hopefully everything have, goes back to normal and we'll never, ever see this again. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for Paget on February 10th. Reporting live from Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Karen Campbell, WBAL-TV 11 News.